I'm getting my garlic in. There we go. And I'm going to add a little salt to my garlic, which is going to bring out the essential oils in my garlic. And it's also abrasive, so it's going to help me pound down that garlic. Then next, I want you to grab your, your um, basil. So I went to the farmer's market this morning uh, and picked up this basil from Lacombe Fresh. I'm going to want to pull off the thicker stems. So I'm getting my leaves picked in to my mortar and pestle, but I'm not using these thick stems. The thinner stems can go in, but not the thick stems. So I'm just picking my basil. You can tear up your leaves a little bit as you do this. If they need a wash, definitely give them a wash and a dry. So I'm just pounding this down. And pretty soon, I'm going to get my pine nuts in here too. If you're in your blender, you're just blending it. So now I'm going to add my pine nuts. My leaves aren't fully broken down. With my mortar and pestle, I want to make sure that my leaves are completely pureed before I add my olive oil. OK, so now I have kind of a nice paste happening there, OK? So at this point, I'm going to think about getting a bit of my olive oil. And Honestly, I don't measure olive oil when I'm making pesto. I've given you an amount that works really well, but what I'd like to encourage you guys to do is to add olive oil until you've got a nice sauce consistency. The last thing that's going to go in is our cheese. The cheese is going to thicken it, so you want it a little runnier than your finished pesto wants to be, but you can always add more um, olive oil. So I just got a bit of olive oil in, and that's going to help me continue to puree my basil and my pine nuts together. And it's starting to look really nice and creamy. So here I go with a bit more olive oil. So at this point, I have a mixture that looks a bit more like a salad dressing, OK? It's looser. It's more oily. Let's show you again with a spoon so you can see the consistency, OK? go just to show you. I'm going to start adding cheese. Um, I'm not going to add any more oil until I've dressed it with lemon juice. The lemon juice is going to make it looser too. So then I'll decide if it needs more olive oil after the lemon juice. But first, let's get some cheese in. You can make it as cheesy as you want to. So that is freshly grated Parmesan. I always buy whole and grate it myself. And I've got some pecorino here. I'm going to grate my pecorino in. Um, pecorino is also a cheese that the Italians will use on pasta in place of Parmesan. Um, I often will use it as my cheese on vegetarian pastas where I want a bit of sharpness. Um, it's a really, really nice alternative um, to Parmesan for certain dishes. Just mixing that in. And I'm now going to grate, I love this homemade one with the mortar and pestle, it's so beautiful. I'm going to grate some lemon zest in, just using a microplane. I'm going to add the zest of a whole lemon to this. So just a gentle squeeze of lemon juice. I didn't even use a half. I've used so far. I want you to do this to taste, guys, OK? I've added the juice of about a quarter of a lemon so far. Make it as citrusy as you like. This is entirely individual. It's to your palate. Um, my Pesto is, is a little too thick, so I'm going to add more olive oil into mine. Mine needs salt, so at this point, I'm adding mold and sea salt, any salt you got. I tend to highly salt pesto because it's going on to pasta which has no salt in it. I want a little bit more lemon in mine. 
You can add more cheese if you want more cheesy flavor, but we're, we're also gonna finish our dish with more Parmesan or Pecorino, whichever you prefer. So I'm going a little bit more lemon juice. Okay. That's good. I'm stopping now. If you like pepper, you can get a little pepper into there. So, a couple of grinds of freshly ground black pepper into your pesto. That is totally optional. And then I'm gonna set my pesto aside. Taste it one more time, now the pepper's in there. And pretty soon we'll be ready to roll out pasta, so we're gonna talk about pasta machines. Let's go.